Yeah, you all read that tile right. Ashley 2.0 is done. Now you're probably thinking, trucks and water, what in God's name are you talking about? You still have all this other stuff to do. Uh, excuse me, all this other stuff you plan on saying you wanted to do. Well, hear me out in this video, guys, because um, I have some explaining to do. But basically, Ashley 2.0 was taking my stock truck, picture be popping up now, what it looked like before the wheels and tires on it, and transforming it into what you see right now. So, what you see right now is Ashley 2.0 done. So the mods I'm gonna go over from front to back are front mod, custom smooth or smooth bumper, custom cutout um, insert, with a Rough Country X5 Series 30 inch light bar float spotlight combo, dual row, about 16,200 lumens, um, LED light bar on top of smoked headlight, marker lights and corner lights, last fit bulbs all the way around, headlights, high beam and low beam, um, custom grill, well it's technically an OEM grill but it's custom Linex gloss black same as the bumpers Linex gloss black with the bit with body Linex. Moving on to the front suspension we got two inch turn up keys only cranked up inch and a quarter on Pro Comp 3000 series shocks. Tires I'm running are 20 by 12 uh, KMC XD series the grenade series with the milled accents wrapped in Nitto 420s 305 by 50 by 20 on top of that, we've got a bullet antenna. Moving on to the mirrors, they are boosted auto part mirrors, um, full LED turn signal, running lights, uh, amber running and turning signals both sides with the high output reverse lights that shine completely back with also the high, uh, with the directionals in the mirrors for behind. Moving on down from that, we got a bed cover with an embed mount toolbox blacked out three uh third brake light um blacked out bed cover rails diamond plate moving on we got innovative off-road um tail lights color color match inside to the truck with a tinted lens on the outside moving on in the back we got a oem style rear bumper lines gloss black and then pretty much from that of course we got the all the decals on the truck sponsorship decals Stuff like that. I've got decals on the brow. And the last but not least, of course, the window tent. 5% all the way around with a 35 on the windshield and a 5% brow. So, that is, or, and well, actually, the last, last thing. I almost forgot how I could have forgotten this. We have custom track bars or ladder bar style system with the faceplate of my trucks and water name on there. The black is actually the same flake as the copper flake in this. It's the gloss black. Looks freaking awesome when it hits light. I need to clean them. I know the truck's really nasty thanks to work and stuff, but it'll be clean very soon. So, that is Ashley 2.0. Um, what I mean by Ashley 2.0 is there's going to be a 3.0 and a 4.0. So the reason why 2.0 is done is I pretty much done everything I wanted to do to the truck while I daily drive it. That means I'm not doing anything really much more with the truck. There will be an Ashley 2.5, which would be some interior stuff. I'm going to be doing a sub in the truck with a new radio. Still coming up with ideas for that. Sub in the truck, new radio, door speakers, side speaker, or the back side speakers, you know, stuff like that. Um, like I said, new head unit, new radio. Um, maybe some headliner stuff. I'm not sure yet. I'm not really huge. I do want, I might want to do like a, the, the, the Rolls Royce headliner. That would be freaking cool. But, anyways, three. 2.0 is basically everything I want to do the truck that I, I have to daily drive. You know, I drive it to work every day. I drive it on the weekends to dates, to freaking hanging out with the buddies. Like, everything mod-wise, like I've done to the truck for daily drive. Now, some of the mods are still staying on the truck. The front-end mods are staying on the truck. Rear, rear mods are staying on the truck, except for some tweaks, maybe that, and something different. Track bars are staying on the truck. But the mirrors are staying on the truck, tents stay on the truck, but lift kit, wheels, and tires are all going to change. 
Uh, again, a lot of you have been asking about performance parts. This is a brand new GM350 crate motor in this with a three year, 100,000 mile warranty. The warranty is very vague when it comes to modifying an engine. Not, of course, I can't bore, bore it, stroke, or bore slash stroke it, or do a different cam. That will void my warranty. But what's up in the air is the exhaust and um, cold air intake and tuning. I need to ask about that. I'm not sure. Basically, the warranty goes is if I don't break it, if I don't do something purposely that could risk the engine, they have to replace whatever's wrong with it if something goes wrong. So it's very vague on like performance parts because I'm trying to work with them, I'm trying to figure this out because they can't give me really an answer either. Anyways, um, but yeah, so all that's changing. I've got so what's changing on actually 3.0 and reason why I need a tow rig is I'm going higher up on the lift. Again, details on that coming soon because I'm not quite sure what I want yet. 22 by 14. I am going to name the wheel I'm going to go with, hopefully. The 22 by 14 American Force wheel. I'm not going to say what wheel. It's going to be American Forces. Um, Fury tires or Nittos. I can't decide if I'm going to go back Nitto or Fury because I love my Nitto 420s, but I'm going to go like a mud tire this time. Um, and paint and body correction. That dent's going to be removed. A little door ding's going to be removed. Trim crown molding or trim work all that's going to be removed that y'all been asking to be removed the reason why i haven't touched yet is my pain bike said the moment i do it's going to take paint off the truck and i do not want to do that so i'd rather leave it on have it fixed once correctly and everything the color is going to stay the same on the truck the truck's not changing a color the truck isn't becoming anything that it's not so that's what's staying with the truck um and there's gonna be two I want to say two secret mods that I'm really working on with Ashley 3.0. Um, one involves the front and one involves the back. And I'm not going to say, well, actually, there's three mods. One involves the front, the bed, and the rear end. And I'm not going to go into detail about those. You have to see. Again, guys, I don't know the time frame on that because I have to get a tow rig first. So, yes, I am a, hopefully getting a tow rig by the end of this year into 2020, getting a trailer. So that way I don't have to daily drive and drive this truck down to me. So I can just load it on the back of a trailer. And trust me, guys, like she deserves to be a trailer queen. I've had this truck since 159,000 miles and it's now just turned over about 259,000 miles. I've done 100,000 miles in this truck. That's not a joke, guys. In four years, I mean, we did some crazy road trips with this truck, met some awesome people, built literally trucks and water was built from this truck. Six sponsorships later. I mean, you all have killed it and loved me and the truck, and I can't thank you all enough for that. But, so yeah, that's actually 3.0. Actually, 4.0 is when I get a house and a shop to where I can put this on a lift, take it completely all apart to bare frame, and build up from there. Hopefully by then, the motor warranty be expired, so that way I can either do something with the motor or put a different style motor in it. Uh, again, that could be a year, two, or three years down the road. We don't know. And again, there's going to be other projects coming on and stuff like that. But that's the that's what's going on with Ashley. A lot of you are asking what's my next mod going to be. Right now, it's just mainly probably going to be some interior stuff. Um, maintenance stuff, of course, um, and stuff like that. Um, but that's what's going on with the truck right now, guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment them down below. If I didn't explain something right or you still have a question about Ashley, mods on it, stuff like that. Um, I'll try to be as big of a help as I can. Now, after the show season, so October, November, I will be releasing. So a lot of you have been asking, I will be releasing how me and my dad mounted the light bar on this truck. It's not the way most people have said or theorize that how i mounted it it's a little bit different than what people think most also i've got a lot of questions on this if i start making these bumpers to sell for your obs chevy so this would probably be 96 95 ish to 98 99 if i made these bumpers with and get them coated in linux cut the hole out for the lab and everything would you all be interested in buying them they're not going to be cheap guys like the linux alone for that bumper is 300 dollars. i don't cheap out when it comes to this kind of stuff i go with the best quality you which usually means most expensive but i rather spend the money 
they have to redo it every six months, year, two years, or whatever. This has got like a 10 year warranty on it, so I'm not really worried about it. And it's stupid easy to clean, guys. Um, but yeah, if I if I started selling these, would you all be interested in buying them? Is my question. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that clarifies a lot of things from the Instagram posts and stuff like that and some comments I've been getting lately. I hope you all are having a great day. Make sure you join the Truck Smarter family. We're constantly growing, changing, and trying new and better things. Um, other than that, guys, um, just remember to never give up on your dreams.